the history of New Zealand rugby is here. Like the, the foundation and history of New Zealand rugby from that 1921 side that was the first one to play South Africa through to I think we go through to the 49. Well, rugby was already quite a big game in New Zealand but it became huge because of the gentlemen that were in here. 1905 helped being the big first big tour but then you got into the 24 Invincibles, 21 the first time South Africa came to New Zealand and you've got pictures of actual photos of these guys playing on fields in New Zealand. You know, it's like first ever Springbok side to come. That New Zealand, that Ireland, that's the 24th side just before they play Ireland. Incredible photo. Springbok's leaving Auckland after their tour of New Zealand. Yeah, there's the boat in the background. <laughs> you know, everything about the jersey was making it better when you put it on, that when you gave it back, it was in, still in a really good spot. And that was instilled in you as an All Black. And why? Because of these guys, you know, the 1924 Invincibles, unbeaten. You know, the 1949, first, first side to go to Africa. In my opinion, one of the greatest All Blacks ever was a gentleman called George Nepier. Um, there he is there. Huge part of the 24 um, All Blacks. And you know, back then, Māori playing at that high level for a lot of other reasons was was massive. Um, and there were a lot of All Blacks that were Māori that unfortunately with South Africa didn't get to tour South Africa because of their rather poor policy. But I love playing fullbacks. You'd always hear about George Nepier and how he was before his time and you know, you read reports of 1924 matches and just how good George Nepia was. And to have photos like that are just incredible player. Even to the point where the British, in their snobbery back then in 1924, espoused him as one of the best rugby players they've ever, ever seen.